Hi, Giovanni. This is Jim Gillis with Win My Vote, and thanks so much for linking in. Uh, I know we're getting down to the uh, the final stretch here, but I do think we have we still have plenty of time for you to form a group and become a trusted source um, here on Win My Vote uh, because we're doing big pushes this week and then um, even uh, even next week doing lots and lots of outreach and pushes on you know getting the Win My Vote ballot into as many people's hands you know and on as many phones and tablets as we can. Um, so this is the site. It's a voter engagement site. It's totally free to voters and to groups and organizations. Um, and it's sort of everything, you know, that a voter needs to uh, go through and, and see every race that's going to be on his ballot, every candidate that's in every race, uh, find his polling place, you know, learn about information that's important to this election. Um, I can you know, get reminders and add this to my calendar. I can print the ballot out once I get done, you know, finish. Uh, favoriting candidates and marking it up um, and then obviously I can access it with my cell phone or tablet or any mobile device. Um, so the way that groups and organizations work is that as a voter you know I have a pretty big ballot here and I'm in San Francisco so I have you know the, a couple of the I mean, national race, state race and then the congressional uh, race and state senate, state assembly, superior court and then board of supervisors and school board uh, and then I obviously have a whole bunch of state propositions as well as uh, city and local measures. Um, so there's no way I would be able to you know, go through and, and, and do the proper research on any one of those. So the way that trusted sources work is that I can click here and I can look through a library of groups and organizations and individuals that I trust, that I want to know who they're voting for. Uh, and I select them by just clicking on, you know, their star, and then they jump over. Uh, and once I've built up, you know, a, a pretty good list here of groups and organizations, you know, then when I go back to my ballot, I can see, you know, who they are endorsing. So I'm going to click on this candidate here, and I'm in admin mode, so that's why you're seeing these little pop-ups. And by the way, this site is super fast. This is my computer, and the video capture. This is about the fourth or fifth video that I've done, you know, right in a row. So, uh, apologies for that. It's, but if you play around on it, it's instant. Um, so here I can see, you know, oh, here are these groups are all endorsing, you know, this candidate, and I can even, you know, click on the group and see written. Hello, or video. I'm Liz Schuler, Secretary Treasurer of the AFL-CIO. When the AFL-CIO endorsed Hillary Clinton for president, it was working women who were on my mind. Um, and, you know, I can say, yep, these are all my groups. I'm done with that race. And I can go back and it's now marked on my ballot. And I can just, you know, go down to uh, the next races. And again, apologies about my, this laptop has is, is been overworked for the last couple of hours. Um, so I can go all the way down. And I'll give you an example of, you know, the propositions and measures. Um, so here I can click on a proposition and I can learn a little bit about that proposition. I can read the summary. Uh, we have one minute sort of neutral readings of the proposition so that people can learn a little bit about them from a neutral standpoint. Prop 55 in one minute, taxes for education. Four years ago, a tax on the... And then I can also see groups and organizations that... Um, you know, are voting yes on this proposition and that are voting no on this proposition. Uh, and I may see some of the groups I follow here and then I may say, whoa, you know, what's uh, Ethan Behrman? And, you know, I'm sort of surprised he's on the no side and I can listen to what he has to when say. does temporary it. mean temporary? Well, it doesn't here in California when it comes to money and taxes. We passed Proposition 30 back in 2012, which was a seven year tax during the Great Recession. You know, and I can say, well, you know, that's, you know, interesting. Prop 55 protects public education and vital services like children's health care. This proposition would not raise taxes on anyone, and it would temporarily maintain the current tax rates. On yeah, and I can go through the process, and then let's say if I, you know, you'll all start uh, undecided. Uh, and then let's say if I say, you know what, I agree with the yes side, I click yes here, and when I go over back to my ballot, then, you know, this is now yes here. And it's very easy for me, again, to, you know, print this out or to access it on my cell phone or my tablet, you know, or, you know, I can share with friends. I can do a variety of things um, and, you know, actually 
move through these propositions and measures um, in a pretty timely fashion, you know, because of my trusted sources. Um, so what you, your group would be, it would uh, you would sign up as a group, you would form your group page, and then you would um, uh, then you would uh, create uh, endorsements, and I'll show you just real quickly. Give you an example group here. Um, so this is you know my example group. I have sort of a main message here, and then I have some other you know, issues that I've put down here. My Twitter feed and endorsements. So uh, let's say if I want to uh, to uh, endorse uh, you know maybe Gary Johnson this time around, or maybe I want to just you know do one of the propositions, right? So I would click on. Uh, Let's see, we'll use the same one, right? 55. So I'll click on 55, and then I want to maybe be on the no side of that. So I click here, and then it says to me, do you want to do a written or a video endorsement? And I say, yep, I do. And from here, I'm just going to use a YouTube um, share URL uh, to paste the uh, video in there. So let's say... I'll use this one. Sorry about that. And that's, I just do a copy and paste, and I just put it right in there, and I hit enter, and that's it. And you can see that Jim's group, I had selected Jim's group earlier as a trusted source, and now that endorsement is right there. Uh, so I can easily just, you know, click on it. Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. Today I want to talk about the rigging of U.S. presidential elections. So travel back with me to... And I can say, yep, that's, you know, that's the way I'm going to go. And then I can change accordingly. So it allows the group to um, to form a page and then reach out to all of their members, tell them to go to win my vote, sign up. It's totally free um, and select them as a trusted source. So as they're going through their ballot, they can refer to you know, your endorsements and your recommendations right on their ballot and then, you know, uh, click the according button and, and go vote. Uh, so hope that makes sense and uh, would love to talk with you tomorrow uh, about uh, some of the other features that we have and some of the things that you can do to leverage the site. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.